Welcome Crypto Nation to Bite Size Bitcoin and B90X Day 23 Bitcoin 90 Day Challenge. We have covered so much in the last week. We introduced candles, we introduced candle shadows, we talked about different archetypes of candles from dojis to spinning tops to hammers to inverse hammers to shooting stars. A lot of stuff was reviewed. So if you haven't seen those yet, you want to make sure that you go back and check out those videos. Today, we're going to do a quick summary of what we've learned over the last week or so, and we're going to give you guys a quiz. So let's do it. Here we go. B90X. Bring it. Bring it. Oh. Bring it. Bring it. This is the act. All right, so we are at the tail end of the technical analysis 101 course, just about candles and candle archetypes. So I wanna do a quick review and a quick summary of all this and leave you guys with a quiz. And as you guys take the quiz, you can leave your comments below in the Bitcoin pub. Tell us what you found or ask us questions or comments about this last section of our video series for Bitcoin 90 days. Let's jump into it, guys. So here we go. We have the candlestick summary. So something for you guys to keep in your back pocket. Uh, number one, long green candles indicate the bulls dominated that particular session. So and a good example of that would be over here. This would be a good example where a long green candle indicates the bulls dominated. Number two, number two, a long red candle indicates the bears dominated. Pretty simple. We have number two over here where the bears dominated this particular session. Number three, small candles indicate indecision. What this means to me as a trader, it means weight. So an example of that would be these types of small candles here, these types of small candles here, and some of these small candles over here. Number four, long lower shadows indicate the bears dominated, but the bulls came back. So an example of that would be right here where we have long lower shadows, long lower shadows where the bears dominated, but at the end of the session or sometime during the session, the bulls pulled the price back up. Number five, long upper shadows indicate the bulls dominated, but the bears came back. So an example of that would be these long upper shadows up here. Another example of that would be this green one right here, and certainly this one over here. And lastly, number six, long upper and lower shadows indicate a standoff. So what that means to me as a trader means wait. We have to wait out a couple more sessions to see where the momentum is and if the trend will continue or if it will reverse. So an example of that would be something like this where we have the long upper and lower candles. Again, a wait. So number six in many ways is very similar to three. So if you have short bodies, if you have short bodies, it means wait. If you have bodies with long upper and lower shadows, it also means weight as well. A couple tips, however, a couple tips. Candles do not reflect the sequence of, sequence of events between the open and the close. So what candles just reflect are simply the open and the close and what happened during that session. It doesn't tell you if it went up and down like this or oscillated ridiculously, or if it was just a slow burn up or a slow burn down. It just tells you the action or the price action that happened during that time window. In this example, we're still running in the 30 minute time window. Candles do not reflect true buying or selling pressure. So candles only show you again the price action within that time window or that time session. To see the true buying and selling pressure, you're going to have to look at the sessions before or preceding the one that you're looking at, as well as the sessions after the current session that you're looking at. And so the candles just tell you what's going on in that particular session. To understand momentum, to understand trends, you're going to have to look at the other sessions before the one you're looking at and the other sessions at the end of the one that you're looking at. 
And again, you can only see truly how the momentum works over time. Candles are not enough. And so what we're going to be going into in the next section is we're going to be going into patterns. We're going to be going into more of the, some chart uh, frameworks as well as uh, other metrics to use to make a better informed decision as a cryptocurrency trader or a cryptocurrency investor. So that's it guys. This is the summary of the candles. Make sure that you go back into previous videos if you wanna understand things around hammers or spinning tops or dojis or shooting stars. And so in today's lesson, today's exercise is pretty simple. I have a quiz up here. I have a quiz up here. We have spinning tops, dojis, hammers, hangman, shooting stars, and inverted hammers. So on today's lesson, find those. Find those in this chart right here. Or if you'd like, take a screenshot of an altcoin that you're watching and label it. Label it and leave the comment below. We'd love to see some of your research. We'd love to see what you guys are looking at. And we'd love to see what you guys are learning. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us in this episode of B90X Bitcoin 90 Day Challenge. If you like what you're seeing here, we'd love for you to consider supporting us on patreon.com slash pub or just subscribe. We'd love to see you in the pub. That's where we're all learning and growing, and that's where we're all making sure that we get our seats on the spaceship. I hope to see you there, guys. See you next time.